making big promises and delivering nothing. This could be the headline for my coffee break today. By the way, coffee break, I love coffee. Over the last couple of weeks and months, I've made a lot of comments and I've made promises to do videos about certain brands. I did this in the comment section, I did this in videos, and the brands I mentioned have been um, Iron Annie, it has been Damasco, it has been De Facto, it has been Dikla, it has been Torbi, and, and some others. Um, I have not received any watch to make a video, and I don't want to be offensive against those brands. They may have very good reasons not to send me a watch. But on the other hand, I don't want to be the person making promises and not delivering anything. So I try to be transparent without directly mention the brand names. The brands and names I've mentioned are no secret. I've mentioned them in comments and in my videos. So this is um, an open topic, but the stories I'm going to tell, I'm not linking to a specific company since I think this is not fair. So among those companies, I've been in contact with most of them since summer, late summer, in various ways. One company I've approached via email and sent them another email and a third email, all of which remained unanswered. Then I picked up the phone, gave them a ring, which remained unanswered. I gave them a second ring. No one picked up the phone and by, the, uh, by then I gave up. The effort was too high for me. I don't like it. Another company, um, I reached someone and he was absolutely pleased to talk to me. It was a nice talk. And he said, oh, actually, I'm preparing a trade fair. Oh, by the way, which kind of trade fairs um, are still running in Corona times? But that's not my business. So I said, okay, perfectly fine. By when can we talk? And I said, um, give me four weeks, six weeks. I will call you back. Oh, fine for me. So I don't have to actively call. So I waited four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. After eight weeks, I gave them a call and they didn't remember me. I didn't expect that. So we started talking again. They were pleased. They were liked. They liked my idea and they promised to call me back and didn't do that. So close case. I am not going to touch this brand again, at least not actively from my side. Um, Another company, I directly talked to the CEO. It was a great uh, phone talk. We talked about an hour, a little bit more than an hour. We in detail discussed the watches I would like to present, the shape, color, size, which movement, what to focus on, the background, back and forth. How can we do that? What can be delivered by when? Can we do it in one go? Can we do it in two goes? What's the background of the company? It was absolutely great. And then he said, okay, I, it might take two to three weeks to send you the watches. Perfectly fine for me, I'm not in a rush. After four weeks, I called back and um, he hardly remembered me. However, whatever we have agreed has been has, has gotten lost on their side. So we started from the scratch discussing what I would like to um, take movies of, the movements and so on and so forth. And he said, okay, it might take a couple of weeks to send you the watches. Perfectly fine for me, I'm not in a rush. And I waited for two to three weeks and then sent them a mail which remained unanswered. I didn't receive a watch. So um, for me, the effort basically is too high if I have to do four, six, eight phone calls just to receive watches to make videos free of charge and just want to have them for a couple of days and don't want to pay postage and package. That's all I wanted and obviously that is a burden too high for some companies. Another company I called, um, I tried to reach the head of marketing and she's a part-time worker and the mail response I received was stuffed with the times when she is in the office. I called during this times Obviously, the mail reply, the auto mail reply was wrong. The times were still uh, were, were no longer up to date. 
So on a try and error basis, I tried to reach her. After a while, I reached her and it was a nice uh, phone call. She was pleased. She liked my idea. However, she was not empowered to make the decision on their own. They needed to talk to the CEO. Okay, I'm lucky. The company I work for is um, organized in a different way. People are empowered to make simple decisions on their own, but it's not my cup of tea. So I waited for two to three weeks to give them time to make the decision. After that time, I sent a mail, which remained unanswered. Then I gave them a call and um, she hardly remembered me. Um, decision not yet made. They need some more time. Uh, give me two to three weeks and I'll come back to you, which she, what she didn't do. And then I sent a mail, which remained unanswered. So it's about the same story anywhere. And actually, this is an effort I am not willing to deliver just to get watches free of charge to take some footage. What I'm going to do is I and um, by the way, I I postponed a couple of ideas I had like live streams, interviews and other stuff with um, people from the watch industry with other YouTubers to remain these places free for the companies before the Christmas time, because I thought it would be good for them to have the videos out before Christmas. So I postponed and restructured my my release plan according to what I thought would be beneficial for them. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm doing some videos about brands which are well presented on my channel, like Zin, like Ginor, maybe Archimede, because here we have a really good relationship. They are pretty responsive and they really do like to support my channel. So uh, a couple of more watches from those companies to come. By the way, at this point in time, many, many thanks for all of you who offered me to send over their watches or enable me to take footage of their watches. It was a great support. It enabled me to make some absolutely nice videos about great watches. And also thanks to those who offered me the watches, which I didn't could, could take uh, footage of because either the effort was too high with a couple of hours driving a car or the cost would have been too high if this is a um, worthy watch which i can't send via dhl and would need a career career in germany cost between 25 and 30 euro back and forth adds up to 60 euro that's quite a high amount for just one video if you consider that i do up to 10 videos a month so this is a cost i can't bear so sometimes it didn't work out sometimes it worked out quite well and I'm absolutely pleased for your support. Many thanks. So I do hope um, I could bring across my point that I promised a lot. I didn't deliver, but I don't feel guilty. And I hope to have some other in terms of being better news in my next coffee break. Till then, cheers, Axel. <laughs>